You're, you're not even an alien. You're just some bald guy. Oh my God, there's someone behind me. I am not a perfect person. Sometimes I unfortunately get things wrong and I wasn't even gonna make this video, but I felt like I owed it to you guys because I was very wrong about this Nintendo Switch game. Now this game is a game that we talked about in the February upcoming games for the Nintendo Switch, a game called Gray Skies War of the Worlds. Now I love stuff like Aliens. I thought the trailer looked interesting enough, you know, Martian invasions. Obviously it's based on the HG Wells book, which is a really cool book. And of course there's been subsequent movies from it and whatnot. And it's a genre of games that's not really prevalent on the Nintendo Switch. Sort of the realistic third-person perspective game. While the other platforms have games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted. What, what, what does the Switch have? They have Adam's Venture? Like, I, I don't even think that ended up being a good game. That was another game we talked about. I never got around to playing it. But obviously, this is a genre that is missing on the Nintendo Switch. And really, I had some expectations for this game. I thought it would be fun. Yes, it was a budget $15 title. But still, it's, it's, it's Aliens. It's H.G. Wells, how do you mess this up? Well, you can, and that, that's the amazing thing. So before we get into me showing you what this game is about, let me sort of bring you up to speed with the situation because I really wish I would have captured gameplay from this, but I didn't. So I'll be using my friend Barry from Impact Game Station's footage from this. Yes, I already cleared it with him. You don't have to go run and tattletale with me. I will have a link to Barry's channel in the description box down below. Make sure you guys go check him out and show him some love and support. But basically the game starts out and you play as this character named Hunter. Hunter is on a plane. She's on a plane all by herself. Why is there nobody else on this plane who knows it's never really talked about so the plane crashes and then you get some sort of cinematic walking scene where you're going through a wooded area that is completely on fire and this is actually one of the strong suits of the game is the music that plays during this it's actually very well done it sounds kind of like Coldplay and I'm not someone who listens to Coldplay so it does absolutely nothing for me but I can appreciate the good instrumentation and of course the fact that everything sounds really good the singing is really good as well so it sort of sets up the pace for what I thought was going to be the game well then you end up on a farm are there aliens on this farm do we finally get to see some martians no you get to see a pig why a pig who knows so there's a pig on this farm and you're walking around this farm you eventually go to a house and in this house you find out that there's a key for a car in the meat packing plant why is there a key in the meat packing plant it's never really said they wanted to hide the key for some reason there's also a dead body in the basement as well so you go to the meat packing plant solve a few puzzles get the key now you're golden right you can get the car and get out of here wrong you have to actually solve a puzzle within this puzzle you have to level up hunter which you do by going to different first aid tents. Within this first aid tent, you can upgrade different abilities by collecting things called redweed. Now, what is redweed? I, I don't really know. I think it plays into the original book, but as you can see, as this video goes on, we kind of don't really care about the original book or the original story. So you run around the farm looking for this redweed. When you collect enough redweed, then you can do a basic puzzle where you have to throw water on a generator in order for the generator to unload. And then you basically can get a wheel to put on the barn door. You twist the barn door wheel, you open it up. There's a car inside. You get in the car and you drive off time for some cool alien stuff right wrong there is no cool alien stuff you happen to drive down a road and while you're driving down this road the car happens to break down right in front of the gas station you go inside the gas station once again solve a few puzzles and you're basically looking for the car part that you just need to have to fix your car you go into a mechanic area there's a weird guy in there who i guess is supposed to be scary but he's just kind of walking around maybe he's the gas station attendant he's guarding the gas station whatever the case may be you have to kill him by dropping a car on him or just avoiding him completely then you get the car part that you just happen to need that just happened to be right there you put it in then you go to the town in the town there's nobody in the town and then you get more weird people in the town and this goes on and on there's a bunch of other weird stuff it's no alien stuff happens in this game until like three hours into the game and then it's not even that satisfying because it's just a really annoying thing but what is in place of the aliens you might say well it's, it's people you see what they did with this game is they took the hg wells story of aliens and martians invading earth and instead made it so that people were getting inhabited by by these creatures and they were basically controlling them but they move and act exactly like zombies it's all based on either sight or sound it's not really that interesting because they're actually just people when you look at the character models they're literally people in the game how do you screw this up so much i don't get it <sighs> so now that we're caught up to speed here um we can see that miss click is starring in this game she did not tell anyone on the spawn cast that she was starring in this game so shout outs to miss click you know hope you got paid well to be a star in this game and right now i have entered some sort of mansion thing a castle if you will and i'm basically trying to find stuff the just the lack of alien stuff absolutely blows me away because of the fact that it's a game based on alien stuff oh we got some red weed extract there let's get our red weed and we can smoke it up with miss click here it's just 
I think there's decent stuff within this game. And like, I feel like there's a good game sort of hidden within this, but there's just so many weird inconsistencies. There is no combat in the game. It's definitely based more on stealth, but I, I don't mind that. I like stealth games. You can do things like craft things. Here's our little crafting system. You have to basically get the red weed and then upgrade uh, our character here, Hunter, in order to utilize this stuff. But we can make some stuff here. A shocker, a water jar, you know, a little shocker action. Wow. Wow, this feels familiar this 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 totally isn't totally isn't out of resident evil one or anything like that what's going on in this room here okay what what is this like a alien nuke or something like just go just go let go of it get in there what the hell happened i died Oh no, we have our alien people who aren't actually aliens now, okay? Let's just run away. They just sort of appear out of nowhere. Can't go through that door. Um, uh, let me think, let me think. Were there any other doors down here? Things are obviously getting very hairy. All right, cool, we found an escape. Just run, just run. For the love of God, just run. I can't see a damn thing because it's very dark in here. And, you know, this is nice because now I'm hurt, so now I can actually see what's going on in here. All right, we've got another door here. A, a crafting station. Get me out of here. Oh, of course. Of course you're going to go back this way. Ah! Leave me alone. Like, how is this supposed to be an alien? It's just a dude with a baseball bat. He looks like his name is Clem or something like that. Like, things like this just drive me insane with this game because it, it it's supposed to be look, look look at this look at this you would think this would be the dominant image within the game aliens spaceships things of that nature but but no it's like a weird stealth game that's not very good i think underneath everything there is some fun to be had with this game but the problem is trying to find that fun and finding all of these inconsistencies that go along with it so you have this little thing here, like I pulled up a few times, where the enemies turn red. It's basically like your super sense or whatever, so that you can, you know, get past them. Because like I said, you can't defeat them, but you can sort of trick them by, like, throwing rocks and stuff. Let's throw, let's throw a rock over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Leave me alone, Clem. Run through this area here. Okay, is there is there a pause when I use this? Well, that's nice. So I can input the code while while this man hits on me. Literally, is he coming downstairs? No, he just he just kind of ignored me. That's that's some excellent AI. Like that's the little the little electric thing. Like that's how the the enemies appear and stuff like that. Like it's you're not fooling me. They're essentially zombies. I don't understand how you make a zombie instead of aliens when you're doing an hg wells game it's just it's it's not a fun game it gets very very frustrating and there's really no reason for it to be so frustrating let's take a look at some awesome puzzle solving here we did it so basically what i did there was i eliminated the power supply to this area so that i can go through this high voltage door and this game loves high voltage stuff you're throwing water on you know generators constantly in this game and it's just a repetitious thing the game is a very repetitious game oh look we got another shutter wheel just like the one that we had to get at the beginning of the game in order to get the truck out this uh there's a lot of potential with this game and the the unfortunate thing is none of the potential is ever met we have like hot cheetos here hanging from the ceiling i guess this is supposed to be alien like stuff like this is as alien as a lot of things get in this game i don't understand why or how really they managed to just make the game so not like the movie not like the source material is let's Put the wheel in here, and let me guess, this door will open. Oh, we gotta use the wheel. We gotta use it. Come on. Use it. What, what the? Wow. Okay. Use the damn wheel. Like you. <laughs> Let's go through this exit here, and maybe we can exit the freaking game, because that would be awesome. That's what I would like to see. I have been playing this game for far too long. I got to a point where, like I said, I got stuck. There's like a chase scene that if you for some reason play this game, you will 
you will get to the chase scene that took me forever and it was just like a point of where i wanted to beat it for myself so that i could feel good about myself so that i could sleep knowing that i beat that area and i did beat that area but i decided to keep playing the game and just i had to make a video on it i didn't want to do a full-on review because i feel like that would just be wasting too much time with this in this game kaboom that was that was very very n64 but Oh look, it's an it's an alien that's it's not an alien, it's just a normal person who's obviously under a lot of stress. They have electricity flowing through them. We're gonna throw a rock at them. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? So this was oh Jesus Christ. This was a look at Grey Skies, a War of the Worlds, a game that really has nothing to do with the War of the Worlds. The music is good in it. You know, I, I like the music in the game. I like the music in the game.